Max Stivity Artist. It's Tuesday again, so it's time for another drawing video with Miss Julie. And today we have Mango back with us. He's just going to hang out and check out what we're doing today, which is baby animals. So in the springtime, lots of adorable baby animals are born, and some of the cutest are little piglets. So today we are going to draw pigs, and we're going to have two separate projects. One really basic beginner project where we're going to draw a mother pig and a baby pig, super easy, and then you can paint it or color it. And then the second project is a little more advanced drawing of a pig, and we're going to paint that one. So you'll need acrylic paints or tempera paints. You could even use watercolor if that's what you have. So let's get started. There are different kinds of pencils based on what you want to do. And right in the center of these pencils, we have HB. That's kind of the middle grade pencil. And then in this direction, we have H, 2H, 3H, 4H, 5H. And those are harder leaded pencils or graphite pencils. So as you move higher up the scale away from H, the pencil leads get harder and harder, which means that they have a lighter and lighter graphite trail they leave behind. Now if you go the other direction, you have B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B. These get softer, so the graphite gets softer as you go up the scale. So your 6B pencil is going to be really dark. Look at that. So I'm going to show you, this is a 5B and a 5H. Those are exactly on opposite ends of the spectrum. So this is very light, and this would be a good thing to use if you want to just trace something in lightly and then erase it later. And then the 5B, I'm using the same amount of pressure, is much darker. So that would be something you might want to use when you're outlining your finished product or adding shadows. Some shadows are light and some shadows are dark. I just want you to see the difference there, and you can decide which one you like to use. I like to use the softer leads. I like the dark pencil lines, but some people prefer the light. And since we are going to be doing some erasing today, you might want to use a lighter pencil so that you can erase it more easily. All right, let's get started. All right, Mango, we're going to get started. So for the first pig, we're going to draw a circle that's kind of a square. So what I mean by that is it's a circle, but the sides are a little bit longer and it's kind of a squarish circle, kind of a square with curved corners. So something like that. Then for the baby pig, we're going to do a similar one, but smaller. So another squarish shape with curved corners. Great. Now we're going to draw a circle inside of our squarish circle. So here we go. We want a nice big circle right there and a smaller circle right here. One more circle. Inside this circle we're going to draw another circle. And inside this one another one too. So they should be just the same, just that one is smaller than the other, one is bigger, one is smaller. These don't look like pigs, do they? Well, we're going to do a trick now and turn these shapes into pigs. The first thing we're going to do is put some ears on our pigs. So right here on this circle, I'm going to put an ear and an ear and down here an ear and an ear and over here, some piggy nostrils and some piggy nostrils here and then some eyes. Oh, they're starting to look piggy. Now let's see, what do we need next? We need some little curly piggy tails. So I'm just going to start right here, up here in the middle 
and make a little curl like that. One loop, two loops, and whoop. It's kind of like cursive writing, like you're writing cursive E's. E, E, boop, like a spring. Now we still need feet. So we're gonna put a rectangle shape here and a rectangle shape there. And over here, a rectangle shape and a rectangle shape. And then behind that, a little shorter rectangle shape that looks like the back feet. They're shorter because they're farther away and they're behind the front feet. Now, usually pigs are drawn with little hooves, so we could give them some little hooves like that. It's just kind of an M upside down M or a W. I guess it's more like a W, huh? I think they need mouths. So let's make them smiling pigs. They're happy pigs. Give them some little mouths. And there we go. Maybe we want to put them outside in the straw in the barnyard. Make some little scratchy marks going back and forth. So they look like they're standing in the hay. And we have our mama pig and our baby pig. And now you can paint them or color them with markers, whatever you wanna do. It's usually a good idea to outline them first with Sharpie if you're going to color them with crayons or with colored pencils, or even if you're gonna watercolor them. You might wanna outline them first with Sharpie and then when you're done coloring, those lines will show up even better. Great! Now it's time for our more advanced drawing of a pig that we're also going to paint. So remember, I said you could use acrylics or tempura. Watercolor if you have to, but I think acrylics or tempura would be more fun for what we're going to do. So go ahead and get a paintbrush and your paint, paper towel, some water to rinse your brush in, and some paper that you can paint on, mixed media paper, uh, multimedia paper, or a canvas if you have one. So this is the pig that we're going to model our picture on. And just like our first pigs that we drew, we want to break this pig down into shapes. And that's how we draw just about everything in the world, is we look at it and we try to identify the shapes in what we're looking at. And that helps us to get things more proportionally correct. So when I look at this pig, I see kind of a square shape, kind of a square shape right here. And I see a triangle shape here and here. And I see kind of a pyramid shape like that. Here's a triangle shape, the nose. And here's a half circle. Here's a circle, here's a circle. This is kind of a circle too, the whole eye socket of the pig. This is kind of a real long upside down triangle down here. And here's a cylinder shape. Okay, so we're gonna think about those shapes when we draw our pig and that will help us to make it more accurately. Get a hard graphite pencil, so probably an H or a higher H, uh, H2 or H3 if you have it, because we're gonna wanna erase these shape lines when we're done. So we have our shapes. We are first going to start by drawing similar shapes on our paper that we're gonna be painting. So lightly first draw in that rectangle shape that's going to be the head. 
and then a triangle ear and another triangle ear and the triangle snout and the half circle mouth and then we had kind of a pyramid big triangle coming down like that and another one down here right so we've got rectangle triangle smaller triangle smaller triangle tiniest triangle there's one here too and cylinder I think that probably went more like that okay so let's start with those shapes and then we will use our pencils to modify them so that they look more like an actual pig I forgot the eyes there was a big eye socket there and another one here kind of like a donut great okay once you have gotten that far you're going to want to start to soften out those geometric shapes so looking at our pig his ear is not a straight pointy triangle it's more of a floppy curvy shape that comes up right there and let's see that other ear is also kind of curvy curves on the end and comes down comes into the head and the top of his head is more like a rounded rectangle that's looking better now let's see about the shape of that head it kind of comes in a little bit here and then back out but we can use that rectangle as a guide We've got to soften up those fat cheeks and soften up that snout it's really not pointy on top is it but that gives us a good idea and a good guide for drawing the snout and the bottom of the mouth okay let's take this kind of shoulder of the pig and it kind of rounds out and comes in it's kind of a little crease there in the skin and he's perched up on this um, fence rail let's go ahead and put that in it's a straight line horizontal that goes right underneath his legs and out the other side then over here, right under this ear, his back kind of comes out. And that, that's kind of a big fat cheek right there. It kind of comes down around. And then we see this little shoulder here. And his little leg kind of goes over the fence rail, kind of curves right there where it goes over the fence rail. And let's see. A little skin there. How are we doing on our pig? Hmm. His eyes don't look quite right, do they? And we forgot this little his little back is showing right there behind him. His eyes maybe should be more like lemon drop shapes. And maybe some kind of eyebrows coming down. Some eyelashes okay now let's take our eraser and erase the lines that we don't want anymore so I can take out some of those really boxy lines and he's gonna start looking more 
like a pig and less like a robot pig. Maybe we don't need those lines going all around the eye. Now, when we paint it, it's going to look a lot different again. So this is kind of our, just our guide for our painting. Let's see. I feel like maybe... Maybe that's good. All right, so I did a pig earlier and I painted him just for fun. I made him kind of crazy purple and pink colors. And you can see some examples of what other artists have done with pigs and paint. Sometimes they just keep it pink, the traditional pink pig. Sometimes they use lots of crazy colors to make it a really rainbow colored pig. So it's up to you what you would like to do. But right now you should choose your paints and you put a piece of foil down to put your paints on or use a paper plate and choose the colors that you want. You are going to want white and black and you're probably going to want a little little red and, and um, whatever other color you want to use on your pig. So I used a plate uh, that I used earlier, so it already has a little bit of dried paint on it. But I think I'm going to start by getting some a little red and some white to make kind of a dark pink. Dark pink. And I'm going to paint the inside of his ears. Oh, that looks nice. and his snout this color. This is going to be kind of a um, expressionist or impressionist kind of painting. It's not going to be real refined. The lines aren't going to be real tight. We want to do kind of a loose painting. Those are kind of more fun. And pigs are messy and loose. So in a way, it's a good way to paint a pig. I'm gonna add a little purple now to my pink to make a little darker color to go under there under the mouth. Basically, you want to have darker colors down here in the shadows and lighter colors on the face. 
but probably whatever you do, you probably want to keep the inside of the ears and the snout a dark pink so that it says pig, but otherwise it's pretty much up to you. looking pig. I like that pig. I hope you like your pig too. I wonder who can make the best piggy noise. I hope that video inspired you to be creative. Maxtivity is a nonprofit whose mission is to provide space, tools, supplies, education and classes uh, for people to help maximize their creativity. If that was valuable to you and you want to continue to support art, community, a space to be creative for all, then you can go ahead and uh, make a donation. You can visit our website at maxtivitycreative.space and give under donate and share. You can also like us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram under iMaxTivity. We have more video videos under MaxTivity here on YouTube. And I just appreciate anything that you can do to engage families, community, and children in exploring more opportunities to be creative. Thank you.